Hello, welcome back to Paul's Stuff. This is my space on the internet where I get to talk about all the things I love. Lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers. And today is one of those lightsaber um, technical videos. So what I wanted to do today was to look at um, how you can update the firmware on your Zeno 3 based lightsaber using the Zeno Configurator app. Um, and I also wanted to run through a change that has happened in the last update, uh, which is version 1.2.5. Um, there's been a change to where the uh, blade settings are now situated. So we'll, we'll look at that in a moment. But first of all, let's have a look at the Xeno Configurator app. So this, this is the app, this is running on my Mac, but um, it, will, it will run on iOS devices, it will run on Android devices, and it looks much the same on all of those as it does here. Um, if you have a Mac with Apple Silicon, uh, M1, M2, M3 chips, then you can run this app on the Mac as well. So, first thing you have to do when you, you know, when you connect Sabre to the app is connect the Sabre to the app. We'll do that quickly. And when you're connected, um, incidentally, you heard Professor Hu Yang there announcing that it was the Sabre was connected to Datapad. If you want to know how to get that, I have a separate video on that. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, once you've connected your Sabre, as you can see, I've I've put a custom name on this one. This is my Bale and Skull lightsaber. If you click on the cog, it will give you the details of that lightsaber and lots of things that you can change here. This is where you can rename it. Um, you can have single button, double button firmware. Um, you can set the Sabre up to be pixel or RGB. Um, from this screen as well. This is basically the setting screen for the firmware on the on the Sabre. And one of those options is software update. And when you click on that, it will do a search and it will say on this one, current software is the latest version. Um, and that's because I already have 1.2.5 on here. If you don't have the latest version, it will offer you the option to update. Just follow the instructions in the app and you, you will be able to update the, um, the firmware on your, your Sabre. Although I see here it calls it update software. So that's how we, um, how we update the, um, the firmware or the software on your lightsaber. You can also do that by going to the planet symbol at the bottom of the app your connected saber will be in in a different color to the others click on that and you'll come to the same screen um, so just a different way of getting to the same menu um, but now I want to cover a change that's been made in software version 1.2.5 which is where the um, the setup for your blade settings is kept so we will just come out of the Zeno configurator app um, and I'm just going to open this is a um, what you would see on your SD card when you remove it from your Sabre if you've got a version of the firmware that is before 1.2.5. So previously, the blade settings have been kept in the config file, which is in the settings folder. And if we open that config file, we scroll right down to the bottom, we can see that each of the fonts is, is numbered here. This corresponds to the, the numbered font folders and each each one has a set of blade settings 
after it. Okay, so in the latest firmware, that has changed. So I'm just going to... It's my saber getting turned on. <laughs> Just going to remove the SD card from this Balen Skull Saber, which has the eight, uh, the the uh, latest firmware on it, the uh, the one one 1.2.5 software firmware. So if we open this, and um, we'll go into the settings folder, and we'll look for that config file. There it is. Now all, all of the other settings are still on here. Um, the config file is actually becoming more and more irrelevant as time goes on because as time goes on all of these settings can be changed in the Xeno Configurator app now. Um, so there's very very little need to actually go into this config file anymore but if you notice we no longer have all those blade settings so if you did want to set up your blade in the config file those settings are no longer there they've been moved so if we go back out and have a look at one of the font folders we'll have a look at font number one Um, each font folder now has a fontconfig.ini um, file within it. And if you go into that, that is where your blade configuration is now. It's still the same format, although it no longer says font one, it is just numbered. Um, but everything else is the same. So you have your color which is red, green, blue. Um, just bring this to the middle of the screen so it's a bit more easy to look at. So the color is the three numbers in the brackets. That's red, green, blue. Um, then we had the various settings for the blade. Um, I know the first one is the hum setting. Um, that's the... the um, where you have things like fire blade and uh, candy blade and things like that um, it's those sort of uh, blade effect settings um, and then th there are various settings here for um, things like flash on clash um, blaster block things like that and then the last two numbers are the time it takes the blade to ignite and the time it takes the blade to retract. Um, there, there is a description in the uh, the previous um, the the previous config file. So if you if you um, if you're updating from the a previous version, then it might be worth copying down what these mean because there's no longer any uh, description of these but I think that's because now actually you can change all of these in the app anyway so there's, there's no longer any need to come into these config files but I just wanted to show you where they are because if you are manually setting those settings up you won't find those blade settings in the main config folder anymore each font has its own font config folder um, which is where you will now find those blade settings so i hope that's been helpful um, i may do more of these videos looking at the Xena configurator app running through what all of the different functions do um, but for now this was just a short video that i wanted to do because um because of that that um, move of the the blade settings from the main config folder to having their own config file in each font folder now 
so hopefully that's been useful for you if it has please consider giving the uh, the video a thumbs up um, if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you again soon cheerio everyone